how to seal a crown of a chimney. Most common leaks on chimneys are the crowns and the tar cracks, the cement cracks away from the brick. And so you need to seal this and this as well. You can do this in a few minutes, five minutes. You add your coat like that. Water just gets in there, right there. See there? Show me again. I cut the fleece in two, two inch strips. I didn't do a four inch strip. Just like that, all right? I have a special request. I'm gonna show you now how to finish this up, but I have a wife <laughs> that's doing all the videos, watch. <laughs> and please thumbs up for her, please. She's doing the videos and can you please thumbs up for her? I'm a nobody, she's somebody and you are somebody, you can do a thumbs up and a comment. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let me show you how to finish this up. So I cover this, look at it, beautiful. Okay, so this will last a long time if you wanna keep it this color brown, it's gonna to fade to a light brown, faded brown, but I uh, recommend you paint it or coat it with something, with some kind of paint or oil-based paint to make it last longer because the sun will beat this, the UVs, ultraviolets, okay? But um, if you want to leave it like this, eight or ten years, it will be fine. You might have to do another coat six years from now or five years from now, a refreshing coat over this. You cover the crack like that with a fleece and you're okay. If you have any lift, if you have any turbo poly seal lift, do the whole crown like that. Look how beautiful. That will even do a better job. It will seal the, the, the concrete or the cement slab from absorbing any water. That is the best. All right. You see that? Look how beautiful. And the chimney is sealed. All right. Give me a thumbs up for that one. Came out nice. And subscribe and comment. Please do all those things. Help us. Thank you very much. Brown thumb. Not the green thumb, a brown thumb, chimney crown. All right, that's it. Thank you. See you in the next video.